What's going on guys? Today we're going to do a review over the Polar H9 heart rate sensor. Alright guys, so Polar did send me over this device for review, but we had no prior agreement whether I should do a positive or negative review on this product. This is my own thoughts on this device. So let's talk about heart rate monitors in general. Why do you need one? Well, for me, I am doing heart rate training. I'm doing the 80-20 training plan. So a lot of times I need to know exactly where my heart rate is and I want to have the most accurate way of finding that. Knowing your heart rate is a way of measuring the intensity of your workout. So a lot of plans will have you train at either a pace or a time or by feel. Uh, easy run, slow run, whatever that is. That's all trying to measure the intensity of your workout. For me, I think that heart rate is the best way of measuring your intensity because if you measure it by pace, uh, sometimes runners like to beat a certain pace. So if you're prescribed to do an eight minute pace for your workout, generally runners will try to beat that. They'll try to go 755, 730. So you're actually running faster than the prescribed pace, which uh, maybe that's what you want to do, but I like to follow the training plan. And for me, uh, if you're measuring it by heart rate and in order to to beat my heart rate, I have to go underneath my heart rate. So generally you won't be pushing yourself too hard, especially on those easy days where it's really important for you to go easy and recover your body from all those hard runs that you're doing. So what are the two ways that runners track their heart rate? Well, first off, many runners do have watches and these watches have optical heart rate sensors. So if you see that green light over here, that green light is actually emitting the light into your skin, going into your blood vessels, going through your hemoglobin, and different things in your body will absorb it or refract it. So if it's not absorbed by the hemoglobin, it's gonna get refracted back into the sensor in your watch, and that's how it reads your heart rate. So depending on your heart rate, if there's more hemoglobin bouncing around in your blood vessels, it's not gonna get refracted back as much, so it's gonna have a higher reading on your heart rate, and that's generally how that optical heart rate sensor works. So the negative part of an optical heart rate monitor is that if it is not strapped on tightly enough, or if you are drawing around a lot, those sensors in it can give you inaccurate readings. If you're moving around a lot, the light refracted back into your sensor may not be as accurate if you're moving a lot or the watch isn't on tight enough. So the second way that many athletes measure their heart rate is via a chest heart rate monitor like this. In fact, this is kind of the only way that many athletes did it back in the day. Before we got fancy and got these heart rate monitors in our watches, this is the way that many runners did it. So how does a chest heart rate monitor work? Well, it works by sensing electrical impulses by your heart. So basically there is a sensor back here. There's a pad back here right here that will be in contact with your chest. And through that, it will sense the electrical impulses and then that will be transmitted to your watch to your phone by this right here, the H9 sensor. So generally people believe that this is the best way of monitoring your heart rate because this is the closest to your heart. It does it through electrical impulses. So it tends to be more accurate because of that. So the limitations of the chest heart rate monitor is that you have to have a good fit around your body and you also need a conductive medium such as sweat, saliva, water for it to be able to sense those electrical impulses. So those are some of the limitations of that. But generally, these are known to be more accurate than your optical heart rate monitors on your watches. All right, so let's talk about this H9 heart rate monitor. This is Polar's affordable heart rate monitor. They do have two other ones. They have the H10, which is a higher end one, which stores your heart rate and does some other features. Uh, and then they have a arm band type of heart rate monitor and then they have this one this is the cheapest one that they sell this is about 59 bucks and what does that give you so it basically gives you the heart rate monitor it gives you the chest strap the battery lasts about 400 hours it says so about a one year of use and then you can change it out simply there is the, the little clip for the battery over here so you just stick a screwdriver in there and pull it out and you could put a new battery in there. Uh, this is waterproof so you can actually go swimming in it. This will connect via Bluetooth, via Ant Plus, and also via 5 kilohertz transmission which will connect to a lot of your gym treadmills or gym machines. I did notice that a lot of the cardio equipment in my gym when I used to go had the Polar Club on it so you could connect this to that. 
also. Uh, also, this will connect to multiple devices. Whenever I had my Polar watch on and also my Garmin, my Garmin would ask if I wanted to connect to it as well. So this connects to multiple devices. Not sure why you would need that, but it's good if you have multiple watches and have one heart rate monitor. You don't have to connect your heart rate monitor to the device every time you decide to switch a watch. So those are basically the feature. It is a heart monitor. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It measures your heart rate, but how accurate is it compared to your optical heart rate monitor? And do you even need a chest heart rate monitor if you already have a heart rate monitor on your watches like most watches do nowadays? So let's take a look at the data. First off, I went on a run the other day and I measured it through both my optical heart rate monitor, through my watch, and also through the polar heart rate monitor. The black line is the polar heart rate monitor and the red line is my Garmin. So you can see at the beginning, the polar wasn't that accurate. I was noticing that my heart rate was jumping up to 160, 170. I was like, what the heck is going on? And I noticed that I wasn't sweating. So I had to actually, I know this is kind of gross, I had to get some saliva and smear it on the pad. So I did have that conductive material so that it could read my pulses. And after I did that, you could see that it got a lot more accurate. So if you, if you continue to look at the tracing over here, you can see that the polar tracing is a lot more smoother. There's not as many jaggedy edges, so it's not reading uh, higher or lower. Uh, but generally, both are reading almost the same heart rate, just that sometimes whenever, especially if you're at the upper end of your heart rate zone, you don't want to go above it. So the polar would read more steady while the Garmin would read a little bit higher or lower sometimes. So I would get up to 142 on my Garmin, but my Polar would say I'm still at 139. So that was one thing about that. And then if we go to another graph comparing my Polar and my Garmin watch, you can see that this is a little bit more accurate. The black line is again the Polar, and then the red line is the Garmin. Again, a lot more variation in the heart rate with the Garmin and not so much with the Polar. So while the Polar and the Garmin did have a little bit different readings, the readings were almost exactly the same. I wouldn't call it a big difference, but if you're really finicky and really want to have all the greatest stats, uh, I thought that the Polar heart rate monitor measured my heart rate more accurate if I was uh, starting off my run, it wouldn't jump up too high, especially if I had the conductive medium in between my skin and the strap. I thought that it measured it a little bit more accurate, but I think you can get by without a chest heart rate monitor, but if you want more accurate results where there's not much fluctuation in your heart rate from beat to beat, it's best to go with a chest heart rate monitor such as the Polar H9. So for a person like me who's doing heart rate training and I really want the most accurate results, I think that this Polar H9 is a great deal. So for 59 bucks, this is the budget friendly version of their heart rate monitors. I think it has everything I need to measure my heart rate accurately and it's at a good price. So this does get a Goku runner thumbs up from me. So yeah, I'm using this. I'm enjoying my heart rate training. I'm joining even more with this Polar H9. All right guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Thank you.